X with your arms? There's an X. I can even do it with my fingers. There's an X. Good job. So what is an X-ray anyway? Well, the simplest answer to that is that it's a picture of something that's on the inside of your body. For example, when you go to the dentist, if you've never been, I'm fixing to tell you something new, they make you put these little things in your mouth and you have to open up wide and go, ah, and they put this paper inside your mouth, a special little film, and you bite, and they say, bite down, and you go, Arr. and they have this machine that comes out like this, and they press a button, and it goes, Arr. and they take a picture of the inside of your tooth. Now, if you tried to look at my teeth right now, you wouldn't be able to see the inside of my teeth. Or, I've had this happen, I've had friends of mine who broke the bones in their body. So let's say you broke a bone in your hand. Well, if you went to the doctor and said, I broke a bone in my hand, it hurts. Well, they can't tell by looking on the outside where the broken bone is, so they don't know how to fix it. They have to take an x-ray or a special picture of your hand so that they can see all the bones on the inside of your hand. And there's a ton of them. today about the x-ray fish. Now this right here, well it's a cute little fish, but it's not an x-ray fish. And you're gonna find out why in just a minute. Because if I try to look through this fish right here, well I just covered my eyes up and I can't see you. But with an x-ray fish, well, you can see right through it. You can see its bones. It's the coolest thing ever. Now. Here's a little quiz for you, or a little test. I'm gonna show you some things, and I want you to see if you can guess how they are all the same. Are you ready? All right, so the first of all, I have a bottle of hand sanitizer. Take a real close look. Okay, then I have, oops, one of them just fell. Look at my little box right here. Do you see what's inside the box? It's a little paper clip. Okay, then I have a bowl. Do you see what's in the bowl? Can you see me? I see the camera. Do you see what's inside it? I have some shells and some sand, which reminds me of the beach, which reminds me of the fish. The x-ray fish, of course. Then I have a little bucket right here. Do you see what's in the bucket? Can you see me? Oh, I can see the camera. I can see you. And inside, do you see what's inside? Let me open that lid up. It's a cute little fish, but that's not the x-ray fish either because I can't see through it. Hmm. One last thing for you to look at. Oh no, two things. What about this? You know what this is. This is a Ziploc baggie. Can you see me? I can see you. <laughs> One more thing. I've got my little coffee pot right here. Actually, it's kind of a big coffee pot. And I'm ready to pour some water onto somebody. <laughs> what do you, oh, I think I can see, I can see you. So boys and girls, what do you see or what do you notice is the same about all of our things here? <gasps> I think I heard someone guess it. You can see through all of these objects. You can see the paper clips in this box. You can see the shells in the sand and this little bowl here. You can see the cute little fish 
that are not real, <laughs> that are in this bucket and in the hand sanitizer, I could look right through the bottle and even though you look a little bit weird, <laughs> I can still see you. You can see through all of these things. Well, that's how it is with the x-ray fish. You can see through its body and it's the coolest thing. Well, you know, boys and girls, that's gonna remind me of God. Yes, God can also see through everything. That means that he knows what I'm wearing, he can see me on the outside, and he knows and he can see everything on the inside. Ooh, that means like, if I have a day when I wake up and I'm just really, really mad and I just wanna punch a wall, he can see that. Or if I wake up and I get a little bit sad because maybe my goldfish died or maybe my pet dog died or I don't know, he sees us when we're sad. Or I just got the coolest present in the world. I'm so excited. God can see it too. God can see the inside and he can see the outside. So he can see you when you're smiling, or you're crying, or you're laughing, or when you're really, really mad. So boys and girls, that makes it pretty, pretty important that we be careful about what's on the inside, right? So God can see everything, even when we think that he can't. For example, I had a friend of mine, and she had a dog. She had that dog for 13 years, and the dog died. It got sick and it died, and it made my friend so, my friend so sad. But when I saw her at church yesterday, she was all happy, and you couldn't tell there was anything wrong, but it turns out that she really was sad, but nobody that she was around knew it. I didn't even know that she was sad because I couldn't tell. So sometimes we can be sad about something or we can be really angry about something, but we don't show it to other people. And even though the other people might not know, do you know who does know? That's right, God knows because God can see our insides and our outsides. He knows wherever we go. Right now, I can get in my car and drive to Disneyland, but God would know where I was at. I could turn off all the lights in my house and it could be completely dark, but God knows where I'm at. The Bible even says that God knows the number of hairs on my head. Now, if I took right now and I tried to count all the hairs in my head, Will you try it too? Take your hair and see if you can count the hairs on your head. Look in the mirror. Can you count all the hair on your head? Well, of course you can't. That's just too many. But you know who can? And do you know who does know how many, hair you how many hairs you have on your head? You guessed it again. You're so smart. It's God. Now listen to some of these verses about what God has to say. Psalms. 139 verse 1, Lord, you have examined me. You know all about me. Psalms 139 verse 2, Lord, you know when I sit down and I stand up. You know my thoughts before I think them. It's Matthew 2, 30. And God even knows how many hairs are on your head. Let's see if you can guess what I'm thinking right now. Try real hard. Did you guess it? Well, I want an ice cream cone right now. Anybody got an ice cream cone anywhere? Oh man, I really would love some ice cream. Did you guess what I was thinking? I'll bet you you didn't, but you know who knows what I was thinking? You guessed it again because you're so smart. It was God. That's right. Now let's try it one more time. Let's see if you can guess what I'm thinking. Ready? Think real hard. Okay. What, what do you guess? 
Well, if you guessed that I was very thirsty because I'm kind of hot right now because I put, took my hair out of my ponytail, you are so right. I'm very thirsty. I'm going to take myself a drink right now. You see, boys and girls, you may not know what I'm thinking. You may not know what other people are thinking, but you know who knows what we're thinking. God does. Before I even say the words that come out of my mouth, God already knows it. Isn't that cool? So in just one more minute when I say a prayer and you pray with me, God already knows what I'm going to say. He is the coolest ever. I love God. And I love that now every time you see an x-ray fish, you're going to remember that God sees every part of you. You know why? Because he made you and you are good. So right now, let's stop and let's pray and thank God for who he is. Dear God, we thank you so much that you created us and that you know everything about us. And God, we are so thankful that even when we do bad things and we feel so ashamed, that God, you still know us and you still love us. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God, that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen.